one D twenty plus four. Let's see. Does she does she fix it? Uh, she does fix it. And I I figured. Uh. Frawl is gonna just attack him with the fucking maul. Misses again. Gertis. Oh, yes. More uh, Eldritch Blasts. Yes. Mm. And a miss. God damn mm. it. Delicious Eldritch Blast. Vorka. A new flavor from Mountain Dew. Sorry. Uh, a double quarter staff. Yes. No, I was both this. Felix! Days! Hey! <laughs> Good. D dazed! <laughs> <laughs> He's dazed. Daz, how many more side points do you have? And the bad news is that was the last one. Oh, okay. Uh oh! Well, no, the problem is that Daze is not going to do anything right now, because as soon as I hit him, it breaks. And we don't have but it makes him left. skip his turn. Yeah, yeah it or skipped his turn. I, that's why I waited to write before he goes. And if you notice, uh, I'm making him skip his turn. Fair enough, fair enough, yeah. Um, I have to just bash him again. <laughs> Will I ring um, work for you, Casey? Um, just a ring put on no, his finger. That, that would slip off for what I was thinking. Oh, and he's, re he's not ready to commit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to make him warm. I still have a ring of war that I could just force on him and tie to his finger. Um, yeah, you hit him once. He looks like he's he's doing the Ali thing where like he's just going like. Oh, sway. Dancing from the right to the left and swaying back and forth and just completely being missed by all of you. Uh, Kia reloads. Brawl attacks. For seven. Is this guy humanoid? Or no. Oh. Okay. Uh, yep. I'll take anything I can get. Gertis. Aldred. Both miss again. <laughs> Orca. Both hit. Look at that. Hey. Or 20 damage. That's pretty good. I thought that was the last you could do. You don't have any more side points, do you? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hit that by accident? I would yeah. hit, I move up here, and I do uh, a uh, essentially a cantrip. Okay, mind mm. slam. Constitution. <laughs> yep. Interesting. All right. Good. Knock him prone. That'll that knock help him prone. Yeah. If he takes damage. Yeah. If he takes damage. Well, still, if it knocks him prone, that's great. I think we all get advantage. Oh, crap. I triggered a wild magic surge. Uh, Every saving throw he has to take does one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That is 42. Meaning of life. I just can't wait for him to turn into a sheep. Uh, fail. <laughs> he should, he should turn into he, a He towel. gets seven feet and he's prone. Yay. Seven force damage, rather, and he's prone. He should turn yep. into a towel for rolling that number. He does not look good at all. He gets up. Does he... You don't provoke from standing, do you? No, you do not. Uh, okay. He gets up. Uh, and he is going to... Uh, try and cast another spell. Um, this time with Lunamancy. Uh, Sorry, I didn't prepare a uh, counter spell this time. 
to be fair, he is he's been neglecting spells quite a bit. <laughs> uh while this happens for the crazy shit, I'm gonna go feed my dogs. This might take a minute, so if we don't <laughs> die and we aren't running, just double quarter staff. Uh, everybody make me a sanity saving throw. <laughs> Yay. I'll make this before I go. Oh, God. Oh, God, nice. Praise me, old ones. And and now I must go feed my dogs. Hey, I rolled well. Now that you've acknowledged it, all of your rolls are going to be horrible from now on. Uh-huh. Uh, so, the DC was, if I remember correctly, plus, okay, wait, <coughs> plus five, plus five, eighteen. DC was eighteen. Uh, so, Gerdes fails. Oh, for fuck's uh, sake. Vorka fails. But Daz and Ilix are okay. Oh yeah, Frawl and, um, and Kia. Frawl and Kia. Sanity. Holy shit. <sighs> Frawl is not... He's out of the fight. Well, he was a bit messed up to begin with. Uh, Kia... <coughs> Let's see. Uh, God damn it. There is no sanity on this fucking... That's right, she doesn't have sanity yet. It triggers a sa Oh. Hey. She's gone. And that happens. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, 2d6. 3... Wait, yes, 2d6 plus 12 plus... Negative 4. Negative 1. 18, look at that, nice. Nice sanity. Nice. <coughs> And everything is frozen again. Why do you do this to me? Have you checked, did a right click on your, um, uh, settings to see what's running in the background. Jesus Christ. Uh, I have. <coughs> she was just not meant to, uh... Oh, no, that was investigation. She didn't do well. She didn't do well on the sanity saving throw, either. Uh, everybody is... Who, who failed... Uh, gets short-term madness. Uh, everybody who got a natural one... Like motherfucking frog. <laughs> Long term madness. Oh, fuck. Uh, so. Short term madness. That's great. Let's roll on a table. Good thing I prepared invisibility. Can I roll them? Is that a possibility? Um, I don't know. Why is Ben in here? I don't know. Ben's always in here. I, you know, that's just weird. Uh, uh yeah. The... There we go. T 
They're in rollable tables, yeah. macros. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see them, so you're gonna have to roll them for me. Okay. How many do we need? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, three of them, and one long-term madness. One, two, three. Oh, now I see the rollable tables. Okay. Character is stunned. Character experiences. Okay. I uh, rolled four short terms. My mistake. <laughs> roll me. Roll me a. Uh, Roll me a D, D3. Uh, Gertis. Three. Uh, you fall unconscious. Crap. Uh, <coughs> Orca's gonna be two, and Fra uh, Kia's gonna be one. Vorka starts eating dirt, and he is stunned. Isn't that what he did last time? Probably. Eating There's dirt an affinity for dirt. A lot. So you're unconscious. Vorka's <laughs> eating dirt. Who got the She's long stunned. Term? Uh, and the long term is... Compelled to lash out at anyone who speaks to them. Oh my god. That is the worst for someone who is absentee. <laughs> Wait, who? Lashes out them verbally. Oh, god That's damn. Daz who got long term madness? No, no. it's uh, Frawl who got long term madness. If anyone oh. speaks fucking to Frawl, roll the one. he punches them. So yeah. he's a really pissed off orc. Which is different that's, how? That's the worst for an app. They can't even defend themselves. No. Frawl, Frawl's out of the fight. He, he, he's, he's gone. He's like... <laughs> he also falls unconscious. How about that? There you go. Frawl's out of the fight. Done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then the... The boss monster starts cackling because he finds this all very funny. Oh God! What has happened to me? You are eating dirt. I g God damn it! <laughs> Every time. Gertis is unconscious. So is Frawl. Uh, Kia is stunned, uh, and you're eating dirt. Can I make a frail attempt to punch him as I scarf down dirt? No, unfortunately. Oh. The, uh, Whoa, what's that? <laughs> that sounded like Seeger. That's uh, what? We had some weird Sta static <laughs> in here. Yeah, static stuff. Hmm. Yeah, that yeah, is that's, you. That's you. <laughs> it's doing it right now? Yeah. Not anymore. Uh, yeah, it's, it's Dazimar's turn. Um... Yeah, I hit it. I've got nothing. <laughs> okay. I've really, I've Go just ahead. got nothing. Grab me and run. Still doing it? No, it's good uh, now. Two hits. Yeah, no, everything's good now. Two extra damage on each of those still. It's still doing it now, Seeker. So And now? Uh, no. It's weird. Uh, yeah, you you damage him. He looks he looks on the ropes. Uh, if you if you had to make a guess, you'd say probably. 
in the uh, in the one digits. <laughs> yeah, now seems like a good time for power word kill. <coughs> Joking. Is it still doing it? No, not now. It's good. No. Okay, good. Right. Uh, Kia stuns. Brawl is unconscious. Gertis is unconscious. Work is eating dirt. Ilix. <laughs> <laughs> Hot damn. Let's see. And then I hide again. <laughs> and, and the nine damage kills him. Oh no, I hope that doesn't kill him. <laughs> nine <laughs> damage does not kill him. It's okay, forced it should lunge it. It should uh, knock him unconscious. Mm. At least it knocks him down, so he can't chase us if we have to run away. <laughs> good, good point. He is actually at two hit points. Uh, it's setting him up so the captain can get the kill. Yes. You mean the the knockout? Uh, the creature looks at you, Daz. Uh, and he just. He smiles. And he says, You will never get your eye back. And that's his turn. Pulling out his eye will kill him. Uh-oh. <laughs> he says that I'm raging. <laughs> I, I, I bury my axe in his skull. <laughs> yes. You hit him. He goes down. And he goes down, and I immediately say, um, someone, actually, no, you know what? I, I'm not even going to say that. I'm going to, when he goes down, I'm going to pick him up, walk, carry him over to the mech, <laughs> throw him basically onto the arms of the mech, so the mech is holding him. Mm -hmm. Um... How? I'm just thinking size-wise. How many people could actually stand on the mech? It's large, so two medium size. And one in it, so. And one in it, yeah. Um, I throw him across the arms and I say, "Someone stay here and get the unconscious into the house to rest." Who? <laughs> Who do you say that to? The two unconscious people, the one eating dirt, or the stunned woman? Oh no, there's also... Oh no, there's also... There's also, there's also there's... <laughs> yeah, it's Ilix. It's just the... Ilix. Right, it is literally Ilix. just Ilix. Okay. Um, I, I say to Ilix, um, Ilix, can you get the others into the, uh, the mansion? I'm going to get uh -oh. him to the arcane before he... <laughs> I can't wake up. I would, I would gladly do that for you, Captain. Thank you. He's going to eat us now. Look and at all those unconscious people who just eat yep. And eat then them. I fly the mech away. It's just free food. Look at them. All of them. <laughs> Every single one of them. Free food. Except for that one eating dirt. Ew, that brain's gross now. <laughs> uh, Not really. It's, all di it's filled with dirt. I have my standards. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, half orc. Death saving throws for him. What? Oh, he's ah. up. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Casey? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, wait, 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 wait. Was that a death saving throw for him? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was very clear that he killed him, not he's unconscious. No, he's unconscious. We wanted him alive. He was yeah. Making, well, yeah, but well, Casey was raging. He, w he was bleeding out, so he was making death save. Obviously, this is a creature that gets death saving throws, not one that just dies. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, basic, basic baddies just die. He's not a basic bitch. Ah, uh, I'm eating dirt. I can I'm do something. I'm still conscious, so. So Wait. The, the question here is, Doc, does he wake up before or after I've lifted off? 
after you've lifted it off. But what about Frawl? Frawl is, is unconscious. It? Oh, just unconscious. Okay. Done. Um, for, for me, I'm going to go around and I'm going to use this. It's a it's a focus, so I don't have to spend points. And uh, with a touch, I stabilize them. Uh, they are all already stabilized. You, you okay. Yeah, we are, yeah, we're just uh, they're sleeping more. Uh, they're knocked out. But if I find one, if I find that one is stable and a genius, I'm going to eat him. What is my intel my intelligence? That's is a ten. joke. That's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody got it. <laughs> Uh, You're an elephant. It's hard to understand your jokes. Your jokes consist of, of I will eat your brain. You go over to Kia and try to stabilize her, and uh, she snaps out of it. And she asks, what's going on? I explained the situation. We knocked him unconscious. The captain stuck him in the mech and took off. She nods. She goes over to... That's all I do, correct? And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Are they still within a hundred and let's see, how far away are they by now? Um, are they still within one hundred and twenty feet? No, they're just gone. Okay. Uh, oh, shoo. out! There was actually a dust cloud. I'm just imagining it being like going poop. <laughs> uh, we, we we flew away fast. Yeah, poop. Kia goes over to. Uh, Gertis, and kicks him in the head. Uh, you take, you take. Hold on. Uh, if, if she doesn't have unarmed, like if she doesn't have anything for unarmed strikes, it's just one. You take one. Uh, it's just one damage. Uh, piece well, of one, shit. One, I've one. only, I only have twenty. <laughs> it would have been funny if had one. I would have wake up. <laughs> All right, I'm awake. Neat. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I am slowly digging a hole. <laughs> As I eat, eat dirt. She goes and does the same thing to Frawl, but Frawl does not wake up. She killed him. He killed just, him. She, she just goes, ah, uh, my flan. I will attempt to stabilize him, assuming that he's, I don't know, damaged. Okay, uh, you find that he is stable. However, he is in a deep dream state. Ooh, I bet that tastes great. Yeah, it probably does. Is it magic? Is it a spell affecting him? It is not a spell. It's flavoring. Damn. It is flavoring. Alrighty. Well, Can't like, I just sample? Like insanity flavoring. <laughs> the insanity makes them taste better. Oh, oh, yeah. I like the exotic flavors. Well, I mean, there's <laughs> a reason we name hot sauces insanity sauce. Hmm. But explain Satan sauce. Does the devil taste good? <laughs> I don't imagine he does. Obviously. Uh, so we are kind of just stuck walking. Yeah, but eventually you guys do. Uh, Vorka stops eating dirt. Que question: Was it a short term? Yes, it was short term. I it think was it's only one rounds. Short time is minutes, not rounds. <coughs> it's only a few minutes, sorry. Yeah. Eventually you stop eating dirt. Okay. Um, Frog is I, I'm, conscious. I'm a being like, oh, not a kid. Oh, that bathroom, this bathroom is not going to be as easy. <laughs> well, let's drag for all. Uh, uh, and you guys go into the mansion, I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile... <laughs> Thus begins the the, the mid-flight fight of of uh, Daz and the creature. To tear him in half with the, the creature wakes up in the uh, arms Casey, of really the got mech. To, Casey, you've really got to reconsider some of your plans. Uh, you just Maybe. you look down at him, and his eyes are wide open, just I staring. I hit him with my axe. <laughs> What's it, Go what's ahead size? and uh, roll me an attack with disadvantage. <laughs> Actually, just a normal attack, because he's prone with disadvantage, so he's being he cancels held. out. Yeah. Whack! 20. Whack! <laughs> do, you, do you hit him fatally again, or um, do you just... 
No, at this one I'm not. I'm hitting him with the back of the axe. I'm knocking oh, him yeah. out. He, he's immediately he, unconscious. He's unconscious. Now. <laughs> yeah. he's unconscious now. Watch him roll another net twenty. <laughs> no, 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 he's just unconscious. He does not roll death saves. Oh, Correct. that's right. I am flying to the ivory tower. We you fly to like the ivory tower. Poppy, I, no, I you told can't the all this was going to be my mount. <laughs> But wouldn't a Chaos Beast make such a cooler mount? He's not wearing anything, otherwise I could have done this to him. That's what <laughs> oh, I wanted that's what to, you do. Wanted to do. I, I wanted to grab him by the armor and fly him to the arcade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That would have been great. You need to find an item that forces armor onto people. Mm. Well, most people wear something like that, so it's not, you know... Next, the planet of nudists. Could, what, what, kind of, what kind of armor does Frawl wear? I could actually just use Frawl as my mount. He wears heavy armor, I think. So he's going to get to the arcane far sooner than us. Like, Unless you want me to run. Even then he's going to beat me. Well, no, I mean... <laughs> the plan here just is give me to talk offload to this guy before he has a chance to... Um, Wake up. Plus, this also means that, you know, I That's can... What I mean is is move it along. What are we doing? What are we waiting for? Uh, I... I mean, we could always just do the short rest in the mansion and then go back out. Yeah, I figured you guys would need time to recover. Was I, got, I kind of want that short rest. I didn't take any damage, but... I would like key points, please. I mean, you got 24 hours. We, we can just come back and pick you up. You're safe in there. So if anyone does want to take the long rest in there, and others go out back to the arcane, we can do that. Well, my, my thing is I left said just basically get everyone into the house. Oh, yeah, so if we... I, I, I never said anything about following. Oh, uh, I stay in the house then. I already said I went in there, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we all went in. We were just wondering what we, we did after. Uh, so... You walk in to the mansion to see what is basically a nightclub. A very, very big mansion of a nightclub. You see multitudes of people. I love the fact that I did not translucent the people. Doc, but he got it right. <laughs> <laughs> multitudes of people. Uh, spectral Dancing, drinking, you see a bartender, you see servants walking around, get handing out drinks, uh, you see flavorful foods uh, everywhere in, in, a, in a, just a giant uh, banquet. And at the far side of the room, there is a raised podium with a throne on it and two spectral bouncers standing in front of it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so do you guys you guys find rooms? <coughs> I mean, yeah, I, I'm not concerned about a room. I, I, well, I, 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 the whole point I, is like that he's gonna get to the arcane first. We're still stuck here, no matter what we're gonna do. It's gonna take us at least a few hours to get back. So we'll go move on to the arcane and, and Daz's interaction. Yeah. What are we doing? Sorry, but like we're sitting yeah, here fucking. Our stuff about is nothing. gonna take a while. <laughs> In eight hours, you can get. I mean, Dad, Dad's will probably just come back by then. Yeah. I, I say we just wait. So that what are happen. we doing? Move on, guys. No, uh, no, I was just, I was just. That's not us. That's Doc. Yeah, we're no, that was Doc. me. Yeah, sorry. Gee. <laughs> uh. I land outside. I, I land you land at the outside steps at the, the steps tower. of the ivory tower. Uh, whereupon you do see uh, about two uh, stone golems protecting the uh, the ivory tower. Uh, they both look at you. And I stop. 
at you. I, I smile from the top of the of the, the mech and say, Would someone please tell Mr. Bo Bluebonnet up there that the amazing Dazimar has returned with his um, lost toy? The door opens, and out comes the arcane, uh, floating, yet again. I'm taller than him now, because I'm still, still on top of the mech. That is correct. <laughs> that was a calculated move not to jump down. <laughs> and uh, the arcane looks pleased with himself as he snaps his fingers, and you see what a basically amounts to uh, glowing blue uh, shackles and gag appear on the unconscious body. Um, and then he snaps it again, and a translucent box appears spiraling around him and lifts him up. I see that you're and using then he, our plans. We did that as well. And then he disappears. What, the, the black guy disappears, not the arcane? Yeah, he's, well, he's not black, but yes. Well, the shadow guy. Yeah, the chaos guy. Uh, disappears. Uh, the arcane seems very pleased. He says, Thank you for returning the investment. Now, where are the rest of you? He sort of looks around. Well, the rest are making their way back by somewhat more conventional means. I thought I would give them a chance to rest and deliver our prize by a more stylish method. Hmm. Very good. Well, I have your ship ready at the docks. The galleon you requested. Wonderful. However, there is one more pressing matter. An optional one, of course, but one that would give you many more benefits, if you agree. Hmm. Such as? You see, I owe my help to a very specific man. This man is an impeccable businessman. He is responsible for everything I've done. He raised me up into the arcane that I am today. Seeing as how you captured something important to him, I think he would like to meet you. Of course, whether or not he would like to continue business ventures with you is up to him. I defer to him myself. Uh, but I can assure you, if you do, well, he made me who I am. I assure you, he could make you as rich, if not more, if he sees fit. Hmm. Interesting. 
If he's as rich as you say, I'm sure that he'll have a very fine bar wherever we go to meet him. That alone might be worth the trip. By all means... I can assure you, he does. By all means, set up a meeting, and once I have collected the remainder of my crew, we will meet with your superior. I must admit, I was given the impression earlier on that you were the superior, and now that I know this is not the case, I certainly want to meet the man who truly runs things. I am often mistaken as the superior, much to my ch chagrin, but I assure you, yet again, it will be worth your while. Bring your men here to the ivory tower, and I will be waiting for you. Wonderful. Shall we say... This time tomorrow? Very good. Until then. He nods and turns around and walks into the tower. Not walks into the tower, but floats into the tower. And I'm going to fly my mount back to where I left the others. Okay. You fly back. Uh, it did take you about 25 minutes to get there. Oh, it takes I, you I about assume, 25 minutes that, back. I assume in that exchange... Yeah, he did say that the ship was waiting for us, so that's all, all good. Correct. Yeah, good deal. Uh, do you actually go to the galleon to see it uh, yeah, first? Yeah, I will. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll do that before I head back to the camp. Okay. You go to the galleon, uh, where you see a number of people all sort of waiting outside uh, on the dock. Um, which is at the uh, Hold on. It is at a stream nearby. Uh, a very large sort of river, basically. Uh, because, like I said before, your wasp, or your mantis, mm -hmm. not your wasp, is actually la inland. Yeah. So he, he basically tells you to go to the river nearby, and you find the galleon. Uh, nearby the river, you find um, 20 or so... Uh, men and or women there's about like five women 15 men uh, crowded around uh, all in various uniforms and armor and things like that um, just sort of waiting there uh, you see a number of barrels and crates uh, the gangplank is down uh, however it is not uh the ship does not seem to be occupied at the moment. It just seems that there are people waiting outside of it. Okay. Uh, I land the mech on the deck of the ship. You land the mech on the deck of the ship? Yep. I land my spelljammer on the spelljammer. You watch as all of the other people look, uh, look at you, and uh, you see a muscular man with a uh, a do rag, a goatee, no no hair on his uh, head. Um, just sort of speak up and say, "Excuse me, are you the new boss?" I, I I smile and I say, "Well, I suppose I am." Admiral Dazimar Do, uh, Dorovo, fearless captain of the Far Reach, savior of the unknown worlds, the explosive demigod of the moon, sun, and stars, defeater of the beasts of chaos. I assume you are to be my new crew. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Nice to meet you, Captain... Dazimar... Del Rovo? I'm sorry, I don't remember any of the titles. It's fine, we can work on that. Uh, why are you waiting there if you're supposed to be crewing this ship? We have orders to wait for you. Ah, well, in that case, you have done so. Come aboard, get the ship ready to go, and, um... Well, just basically that for the moment. Make the ship ready to go. Um, the rest of my... Uh, associates will be along in short order. Aye, aye, Captain. They immediately get to work, bringing the crates and the barrels and everything like that yep. onto the ship. Looking around, because this is a galley, it's a larger ship. Um, Correct. Does it have any lifeboats? Uh, it has two. Okay. Um, and those lifeboats, do they fit maybe 10 or 12 people in them? Uh, they are large lifeboats. Uh, let me just see how many they, they fit. It's lifeboats. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Buh, buh. Here we go. Large. A uh, large lifeboat holds 20 medium creatures. Brilliant. I'm going to leave the mech on deck then. Uh, point to a couple of the sailors and say, uh, You men, uh, so that I can go pick up the rest of my associates, we'll need to lower that lifeboat uh, away from the main vessel for now. Uh, yes, sir. And uh, basically what I'm doing so. is leaving the mech on the deck. They lower the lifeboat down. I'm going to jump in that, and I'm going to fly the lifeboat back to the other guys. Oh, yay. Uh, I will say there is a large lifeboat and a medium lifeboat. So that's, that's 25 medium creatures that you can hold in the lifeboat. Okay. That's still um, big enough for everyone that we've got in the group. The large one, yes, it, yeah. it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you bring it towards the the place. Uh -huh. uh, it doesn't take very long. It takes about thirty minutes or so, and you arrive. Yep. Um. Uh, let me just type this out as you guys do the. You speak to the crew. You walk over, enter the mansion, I'm guessing? Yep. And, yeah, you see your mansion. Well, hello, everyone. I see that you've made yourselves at home. Vorka has claimed a table and is sleeping on top of the table. <laughs> Daz is in a corner, huddled, like, not Gertis. wanting to be in the party. Did, did I say Daz? I meant my character. Sorry, Gertis. Daz sees him. So, yeah. It looks as just sitting quietly somewhere. It, eyes glazed over. Oh, wait, they always look glazed over. Never mind. <laughs> Is he asleep? Are you asleep? <laughs> Everyone's asleep. Uh, just stands Gertner. up. You see his tentacles twitch as you try and say that. Uh, did you guys turn off the music? You request the music to be turned off? Yes. Okay. <laughs> then there are no spectral figures anywhere. Uh, the nightclub is not pumping. <coughs> uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, no. Back. Come on. It immediately turns on. <laughs> and you see the spectral figures come out of nowhere and start dancing again. This is this is not supposed to be a party that has an end. This should always be celebrating my return. 
Shall we celebrate your exit? Our exit, sorry. <laughs> your exit? <laughs> Get out of your own house. <laughs> Get out of your own house. Can I request the, way, the music turn off? Uh, You've already done that. So, yeah, you do so, and it turns off. No. <laughs> Is it going to be it like a back, back on again? I mean, I just like, I want to picture these two on either side of the room. Vorka in the middle, just sleeping through all of it. <laughs> See, he's like, uh, <laughs> on the table. Eventually, Sleep. Gertis will give up. Are you Are you all comfortable here, or do you want to go to our new ship? Please, yes. let us start. Sorry, what was that? I said yes. I said let's go. Okay. Come on, let's go. Where's everyone? Where's, where's Fro? Oh, is he so the one still uh, the door <coughs> I, I would have just laid him on the floor next to the table. <laughs> Who is using it... Fro as a doorstop? Come on now. Do is Frawl still conscious? <laughs> uh, key, actually, what what it basically happened was uh, you laid him on the table, and then a bunch of the servants actually picked him up and started doing like a wave thing, where they they kept on making him float over the, the yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they were just waving him over. Yeah, <laughs> back and forth through the crowd. Uh, Kia was just watching and, uh, finding this funny. Um, Wait, yeah, everybody, everybody right. leaves the, the mansion. Uh, -huh. uh, did any of you have any of the food or anything like that? I immediately went to sleep. Okay. Yeah, Elix, unfortunately, there is nothing there that you could eat. Could he request, uh, <laughs> Spectral brain. I mean, he would give you brain. They would give you brain. You just can't get the same sort of nutrients if as not, you. If it's not alive and has no thoughts, it's like eating exactly. an iceberg. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, yeah. it's all the joy of eating with none of the, none of the nutrients. Yeah. Right, we yeah. head out, get everyone into the lifeboat, lift off, and head to the galley. Okay, you head to the galleon. You do. Replacing this and this. I assume that just counted as a short rest because he was only gone for what, one or two hours? Or. Actually Barely an hour. We should also probably grab our mantis. Hey, it looks like the old ship. <laughs> hey. It's, uh, it's, a, it's uh, a mantis galleon. Yeah, give me a sec. 50. Yeah. Does everyone like my new updated title? <sighs> yes, no. I hope it eventually is a paragraph of title. It's it's already getting there. So it's about half. I, I've added the explosive defeater of the beast of chaos, and now that we have a fleet of two ships, I'm an admiral now, not a captain. <laughs> because that's how that works. Yep. Yes. Definitely how that works. What exactly means now I could name two of you to be captains. Yeah. I will not be captain of the galleon. Well, he would need a captain for each ship while he's the admiral of all of them. Exactly. Right. I will not be on the galleon. You don't like the galleon? I have a prejudice against them. It's things that it's something that groundlings use. Mm. <laughs> well, what's our uh, what's our next move then? Uh, well. case, uh, uh, doc. So you guys, yeah, you guys get to the galleon uh, to see a bunch of crew manning the ship. Uh, they have it ready as soon as you arrive. 
basically. You see a number of sailors, uh, basically trained sailors, crewing the ship. Uh, of uh, many different races. You see some dwarves, uh, some humans, some gnomes. Uh, yeah. Each with a scimitar and light crossbow on their belt. Um, what an assortment. Yeah. It's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. Uh, on the way back, I will inform everyone that we have been invited to uh, a meeting with the Arcane's superior who I think it will be very interesting to meet, and who we have been promised some very lovely uh, alcohols if we uh, if if we if we keep the meetings. So uh, that is scheduled for tomorrow. Between now and then, we probably should all try to get some rest. I don't disagree. Uh, the arcane admitted. To having someone superior to him. He did, yes. Even though he possesses a tower. The man who made him everything he is today. God damn it. There aren't many arcane who possess towers. I don't like this shit. Well, I mean... I figure if we can meet this arcane's employer, I might actually be able to share a nice drink with a near equal for once. Hey Doc, there was one thing I wanted to do before we before um um uh, Casey got back. <coughs> okay. To find that piece of parchment where he had drawn the arcane bent over with the tower shoved up. I'd like to roll that up and tuck it away for a later use. You find it on the ground nearby. Uh he just sort of threw it around after the battle, and you tuck it in. Yeah, yeah. you do yeah. that. Blackmail material. <laughs> oh no, I, I would, I would f freely admit to that. I mean, I called him Blue Bonnet whenever I got there to meet with him. So you know, I'm not bothered. What do you think, me? Okay, keep moving, guys. Yep. All right. We have so a long rest. You guys have a long rest. Do you guys ever go back to the Mantis to tell Roderick? <laughs> yeah, I've said it quite a few times now that we should probably go get our Mantis and latch it on to the Galleon so we can do that. Yeah, my, my plan was to do that after a long rest, but we can do it before, that's fine. Yeah, because yeah, the Mantis can just kind of hang underneath the Galleon. Not while it's landed true. in water, but... Yes. Well, yeah. I'm talking about just during general travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's perfect for that. Um, now we can land yeah, in water you and guys, on land. You guys go back to the Mantis and get it and the land Mantis it back next to the river? as long as the Galleon. Yeah. Mantis is a surprisingly big ship. The cargo capacity is a lot less, though, than the Galleon. Yeah. Uh, and the and the Galleon actually has a major helm, after you, you study it. Ooh. So, hey guys, like, I got a call. I'm going to step away for a minute. Yep. Um, you also find uh, a light catapult and two medium ballista, uh, as well, on the Galleon. Uh... You find the large uh, lifeboat and the medium lifeboat. Uh, you also find uh, what appears to be uh, in the captain's quarters a sextant. <coughs> nice. With, um, give me a second. Equipment, equipment, equipment. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, 
a star chart. Um, and wow, that's really cool, actually. You could do that. I didn't know that. Uh, the ship also has uh, rigging. I'm sorry. No, it does not. No, it does not. I was mistaken. Yelling on what rig? Do have rigging. Uh, it has rigging, but it does not have uh this thing that sales? I'm looking at. Yeah. Well, it does have sails. It doesn't have spell jamming sails. Hmm. The ones that let you sail without needing a magical pilot. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those would be nice. <laughs> they're very slow. Yeah, but just in case, it's yeah, they're, better they're, there they're, than they're get stranded. Useful if they're useful if you only have one pilot and there's a dangerous thing happening to them. We have a few pilots, so it's not as big of a... <sighs> Uh, yeah, so you guys are... We complete wow. the long rest, yeah. Yeah. That's fucking crazy, what the fuck? What's that? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking at, I'm looking at this, this spell jammer PDF, and apparently there's a spell that allows you to create a helm. I know there's a Last spell that I know that you can do one that allows you to be like act like the helm. You directly control the ship by creating one, as if you were like creating item or fabricating. It, it literally, like at it says, it's a fifth level enchantment spell. It creates a minor helm for one hour. Uh, it's like an emergency kind of thing. At 6th level, it makes a major helm. At 7th level, it creates a permanent helm. Mm. Wait, wait. No, so I... well, that's... That's not right. That's... I can understand something of being like 8th or ninth level.